Hey everyone, this is the question and answer video. Thank you so much for all your questions. There have been so many questions and I can't fit them all into this video, but I just picked my favorite ones. So first question, when did you start with photography? So um, I kind of always been the person that's creative and I don't really like things with numbers and stuff. So I've always dedicated myself to art and uh, I always had a passion for pictures, photography and like creating stuff on the computer as well. And I got my first DSLR camera when I was 14. So I just messed around with that and um, I took pictures of my friends or just my travels. And um, one year ago, uh, I purchased my first um, like full frame camera and it just changed everything. That's just how I started. And you know, living in the Dolomites just made it a lot easier to find a subject because you know, I have these massive mountains just right in front of my house. So just, you know, you go out, you go for a walk and you can shoot mountains, which is great. So next question, how did you grow your Instagram? Um, so I think uh, just also, as I said, be like growing up in the Dolomites, it's just a really famous area for photographers and I met so many photographers visiting the area, as well as the consistency I had and uh, just the uh, that my passion was so big and you know I skipped a lot of days of school just to meet the photographers visiting the area just because I loved it so much just maybe also being a female photographer doing like just landscapes is something pretty unique and maybe also because of my yellow jacket but that's a different story I guess okay next question what would you be doing if you wouldn't be a photographer? I would be studying art or like uh, graphic design or um, animation just because that's what I learned in school. What camera do you use? I'm going to get it. This is the camera I use. It's um, a Canon 6D full frame with a 24 or 70 millimeter lens and yeah this is the camera I bought around one year ago and this is pretty much all I use I don't have another uh, another lens I just have this one 2470 with the 60 and yeah I love it next question uh, what lenses are you planning to get I think I will get um, a 1635 um, Canon lens or a 7200 and like right now I don't really need any other lens it just is how it is and I'm happy <laughs> how do you find the photo Instagram community friends or more competition um, I met so many amazing people just through Instagram uh, it's it's so much fun to meet like-minded people and talk about the things you're passionate about Especially like when you meet the people you've been following for such a long time you get a really strong connection you somehow feel like you know them already but it's just so such a different relationship with them once you meet them and you somehow engage more um, like with their photos because you I don't know just the relationship changes and I don't really feel competition because um, I feel everyone has a really unique style, at least the people I follow and the people I met. So I don't feel comp a competition, but more like being inspired from what they do and maybe visit the places they visit. So yeah, I guess that's... Next question, how can you afford travel and equipment? Uh, so I think it's pretty much just the dedication I have to photography. There's a lot of uh, sacrifices I made during the last uh, year. I somehow stopped uh, going out and, you know, just buying unnecessary stuff that I don't really need. I try to really save my money just to go traveling. 
and as I said I start I stopped going out as much as I did before and my I feel like my friends suffered a bit from that but they kind of also understood that I really am passionate about it I think some of you can relate to this problem but you know I my friends are really su still supportive and I miss my friends and I love my friends but uh, they understand thank you <laughs> and so yeah I think just the dedication to to really sacrifice um, and save your money for just traveling just camera equipment in Lightroom what do you use for split toning um, I use blue tones in the light and orange yellow tones like in the shadows how do you manage to get those blue tones so what I do often is I drop the temperature and then I boost the warmer colors but it just really depends on the picture I just play around a lot in Lightroom or just yeah the best advice I could give you is just mess around and you know sometimes I went out shooting just for the sake of having photos to edit I like editing so much and just it is so fun for me so where are we what is color grading a photo how do you get your crispy clear shots so color grading is uh, when you manipulate the tones of a picture to make it look different or just to like enhance the colors and I think it's a really good way to uh, create your unique style because imagine if everyone would upload their raw images on Instagram it wouldn't be like this uh, this uniqueness I guess so I think it's a really great way to find your own style and to stick out um, Oh, how do you get your crispy clear shots? I think it's just the um, the combination of the full frame camera, the lens I use and the way I edit. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Did you get any jo uh, photo jobs since you started Instagram? Yes, I did. Um, it just comes like gradually. How you for traveling so much, especially in the beginning before you had so many followers so I think it's because first of all as I live in the Dolomites which is in the northern part of Italy and it's pretty close to Austria, Germany, Switzerland, Slovenia and what I did a lot is just do road trips with other people and you know you just go out there and you choose a destination you choose the spots you want to visit and you try to save money as you are camping or just sleeping in cars go couch surfing or don't sleep at all you know it happens what inspires you to take the camera and capture every moment it's this curiosity for me to go to a place i've never been to and just to see that place with my own eyes and to get my own perspective of that what i was saying is i forgot the question Sorry, so just a curiosity, yeah, to to like go to these uh, places, see them for the first time, and just uh, yeah, make memories with your friends, and then you get back home, you look, take a look at the pictures, and you always have access to those memories you made, and it's a wonderful thing for me. Um, how did you start getting opportunities? Any tips to land photography gigs? Um, you just reach out to the company you want to work with uh, you just send an email and ask and if they say no they say no you ask someone else and you have to send a lot of emails next question um, which places on earth do you like to visit oh this is a tough one I would want to go to Canada um, Norway and the states so the west coast uh, but yeah we'll see at the moment i'm in new zealand and it's beautiful here so we'll see um which is your favorite most placed amongst the ones you've traveled so far and also one place you desire to see soon <sighs> my favorite place i've visited has to be the 
Faroe Islands but it's pretty hard now being in New Zealand I don't know Faroe Islands or New Zealand well ask me again in a few months so we can talk about it aside from the beautiful countries around the world why did you choose to travel to New Zealand oh, this is a really hard question because I don't really know why but at some point um, at the end of the year last year it just when I started out with my photography uh, I just saw these pictures of Milford Sound and was like oh my god I want to go here and somehow this love of photography and the desire to travel somewhere and I don't know just I kind of tried there, there's no real answer to this question I just w was the right thing to do so yeah how long are you staying in New Zealand? Um, so as most of you know or don't know I booked a one-way ticket to New Zealand and I arrived uh, yeah a month ago maybe for the next year maybe for the next months maybe I go home tomorrow but there's like no fixed plan but hopefully I don't go home tomorrow you know I think when I'm ready to leave I will be ready to leave but definitely not going back home so after New Zealand I will maybe go to Australia or to Hawaii but that's another thing whatever do you think there's a place on earth that represents your photography that's a good question I think New Zealand just the mountains and you know the lakes and the mountains I kind of really love ocean as well and like New Zealand is mountain ocean but so is Faroe Islands so so another question Joe ask Wanaka tree um, yes definitely um, Josh asked pizza or fondue uh, pizza how many languages do you speak I speak German I speak Italian I speak English and I speak Latin what is your favorite dish? I don't know. It has to be something Italian like pasta or pizza or a really good salad made by my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you wear a yellow jacket? Because it looks good on pictures. No, seriously. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Well, somehow my job is photography as I'm earning a little bit from that at the moment. That I have a work and travel visa and I will be doing some backpackers work uh, here in New Zealand you know like you can do fruit picking or um, yeah help on farms and do stuff like that so I will do that because I think it's kind of cool cool experience to do so we'll do that definitely I'll do it in the South Island because then I'm always close to the mountains and that's what I want where is the yellow jacket from so I have I actually have three different ones so one is from Freedom Day which is I guess an Italian brand and this is like my fluffy winter one then I have one from Only it's the rain jacket and then another one I picked up at a flea market but it's at home sadly <laughs> Defender or Geländewagen definitely Defender do you think you will be doing more modeling in the future? So I don't really do modeling. I just do it occasionally. Being like standing on the other side of the camera is different, but I still kind of like it. And yeah, like in the past, I've always just took pictures of me with a tripod. You know, like those profile pictures you take when you're young. <laughs> but I'm still young, but you know what I mean. So. This is pretty much everything. <laughs>